Hey, what's up YouTube? Rick here again with a, um, a new project video. I haven't done a project video in a long, long time. So um, this is the newest project that I have decided to uh, embark upon. Um, some of you may know, but most of you probably don't. I'm a ham radio operator. That's one of the hobbies I have. I love um, hobby electronics and uh, especially ones where you can talk to cool people around the world. So um, that is what this project is about. So this is the uh, M0NKA uh, MCHF QRP radio project. Um, and this project was invented by a guy named Chris uh, M0NKA out of the UK. And, um, and he offers support on it. He's got a Yahoo group community support on it. And uh, he makes the, the boards for it and, uh, and has all the instructions and everything. It's a really cool project. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know why the guy doesn't um, really take it commercial because, I mean, this is a, a pretty cool thing. So let's go ahead and dig into what I got in the mail here and uh, what I'm missing. So um, obviously you can see here the, uh, the case that I ordered for it. Um, it's empty, of course. But I got this from a seller on eBay in China. And uh, did not feel bad about that at all because the inventor of the project uh, does not supply a case um, uh, or offer a case for sale. He's got a 3D printed um, or a 3D printer file that you can download and print a case, but um, nothing made out of metal or anything like that. So I found this case designed specifically for this product project, and uh, and I ordered that. It was about a um, hundred hundred and fifty bucks somewhere in that range is what you can find these for. Um, so on one side here, you've got all your hookups for your line in, your audio, your power, all that good stuff. Um, on the other side here, we've got a spot for the uh, digital ends, the USB connectors and the antenna. Um, along the top here, there's some kind of um, rail, I'm assuming for some of the RF components. They need to be grounded or have something a little more substantial attached to them. So I think that's what that is. Um, I'm not an electronics engineer, but I, I can solder and follow instructions, so that's kind of where I'm at with this. So, um, in the box with this case uh, came the the case itself, as well as an uh, an RF shield to go in between the two boards. This is pretty heavy and substantial. I'm pleased with that. I did not expect this to be um, part of the case deal. I just was assuming I was getting the case, but there's some extra value added stuff in here, which is nice. Um, also in the box with the case was a bag of components. So here we have um, fun things like our knobs, and the knobs are of, higher quali of high quality as well. So um, this is a nice metal knob. Uh, the picture in the eBay description actually showed sort of a plasticky looking knob, so that was a pleasant surprise um, that the, the quality on these are high. And it also came with um, buttons, it came with some, some potentiometers, and all of the sort of mounting hardware that's needed to get the project into this specific case. So that's nice. Also came with a speaker, which I didn't expect either. I was expecting to have to buy all of the components. So, but here it came with a, um, a little speaker that's um, just the right size to mount in that case. So that's pretty cool. So hooray eBay seller. Uh, good job. Um, link to that is what I, to what I bought in the description there. So um, that uh, this is an excellent project case. I'm very pleased with that build quality there. Um, just the quality of the metal that it's made out of, the machining uh, quality. It, I mean, it's, it's nice. I like that. Now, on to package number two here. So we'll set that aside. This is sort of the guts of the project itself. These are the boards um, that M0NKA out of the UK uh, sells on his website. And he's got a few different things you can buy from him. You can buy... Uh, just the boards by themselves individually, um, or you can buy a complete kit, um, which has the boards that already have the surface mount um, components soldered onto them. Um, he was out of stock on that, uh, that particular um, offering when I ordered, so unfortunately I'm going to have to solder all of the um, surface mount components because I'm impatient and didn't want him to wait to get those um, somewhat completed boards back in stock. Um, now, either way you go, even with the complete kit, you're going to have to solder all the through-hole stuff. But um, eventually, I'm guessing he'll probably um, offer the um, uh, the boards with the surface mount components already installed. And uh, he sent me both of these boards um, with taxing and shipping and all that stuff involved for 30 US dollars. So I, I felt like this is a pretty good deal considering um, that these are actually of very high quality. They're substantial, they're heavy. 
um, the the pitch on them or the um, the tolerances on them is very nice like when we get in real close to say this um, uh, where the the main processor goes for the UI board you can see the um, uh, just the 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 overall quality of this board is very nice and uh, it's very it's well labeled and uh, he provides the documentation with it as far as what components you need to order to get it working as well as um, a um, sort of a, a, a schematic or a, um, a placement um, guide as well so it shows basically where everything goes on the board um, so the idea is that you you buy these boards from uh, M0 and KA um, and then you kind of source your own case he doesn't offer cases so you're kind of on your own for that but like I said this is an awesome case right here um, and then you order all the components that go on the board and uh, once you're done uh, placing all those components, soldering it all together and, and sticking it in the case, there you have a functioning HF radio. And um, I also wanted to show how this fits in the hand. So this is a really small um, radio for being an HF uh, rig. Um, compared to my Kenwood uh, TS830S, this is uh, microscopic, really, um, in, in this. Now, obviously, it's a low-power rig. It's a Q QRP rig. so. Um, if you want it to compete with some of the big boys on the air out there, you really need to maybe run it through an amp. But um, for uh, just having fun out in the field or, you know, throwing up a, a quick antenna wherever you happen to be um, with a small radio like this and, and doing some QRP operation, super cool form factor there. So that's, um, that's the whole project. Um, I'm just getting started, so I, you know, um, I, 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 this is probably going to be a lot more of a pain than I, I'm thinking it's going to be. Um, but you know, I have some decent soldering skills. I haven't done surface mount a whole lot. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I may, I may destroy these boards and have to start over and order another set, but you know, that's, that's part of the fun anyway, too. Um, so again, I paid 30 bucks for these. Um, you can get this for anywhere between a hundred and 150, depending on, um, on where you find it. I, I bought this one on eBay because I'm comfortable with eBay. I know that uh, if someone does me wrong, I'll, I'll get my money back and everything. So, but, uh, this seller's fantastic. Highly recommend them. I think this case is great looks really sharp and everything so um so that's the project i won't ramble too much i, I know i tend to, to ramble in my videos so i uh, just wanted to show this and um and and, and get the word out there because there aren't actually a lot of videos for this mchf product project that uh, sort of explain what it is most of them seem to be just uh you know examples or demos of operation but um, i wanted to get one out there so people that have questions about this or maybe wanted to understand exactly what it is um, can um, can uh, come to this video here and hopefully get those answers. So uh, I don't claim to be an expert. I'm, I haven't built this project before. This is my first go at it. So I, you know, you can ask me questions, but I can't promise I'll know the answers. So um, just wanted to share that with you. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it, and uh, have a good one, guys.